I just want to show you some stuff I was working on last night. I found this application called Node Red. Uh, it's uh, running on my Raspberry Pi, and this is what the interface looks like. It runs inside a web browser and it gives you workflow automation. You can basically take inputs and outputs for different types of things, uh, different kinds of APIs, and start connecting them together with uh, sometimes a little bit of code just to kind of adapt the information as needed. And I wanna show you what I was able to do with this. So the overall workflow I'm looking for is I wanna take uh, some inf information I have in Google Sheets. I've got a couple different sheets. I'm going to show a couple different uh, variations of this workflow uh, in here. I am then using uh, Node Red to take that information and turn them into data link uh, fields that then will appear in my TriCaster in some titles I've created. So that is the overall workflow. So let's just show one to start with, and then uh, I'll kind of explain a little bit in more detail how a few of these pieces work. So I'm gonna go into my first uh, spreadsheet here. Let's just say I'm gonna put uh, my name uh, in here. I'm gonna put uh, my company in here, and I'm on the uh, professional, uh, if I could type there, services team. And now that I've updated that, my node red uh, is set to uh, work with this workflow. This is a uh, sheet one. So right now I have every 15 seconds, it's gonna reach out to uh, uh, talk to that page, get the information. It is then going to uh, pull out each uh, pair of fields, turn those into data link commands, and then it will send those into the TriCasters uh, web socket. And so if I go in here and look, you can see that that information is already populated in here. And I can just uh, go into this title really quick and you can see there's my data link fields, name, uh, company and position. And if I go back into uh, in here, that is these fields right here, name, company, position. I've made it intelligent enough that you can add new ones. If I added another one here, let's say I put a uh, start date uh, and uh, I'll just put the year I started here, or well, Jan 2012, that's when I started at New Tech. It will uh, go out and the next time it refreshes, it will pull up that new information, create new data link fields that will be sent into the TriCaster. So that's something that can be done. Now, maybe a 15 second refresh doesn't work so well. Um, you know, I could make the refresh faster so it updates quicker, but I've also added the ability that I can have the TriCaster fire off these commands when necessary so that it can uh, immediately get an update. And that is just using the macro system here. So let me just show you one of these commands uh, that I have called uh, update Google Sheets. And I'm using the HTTP request command. I'm sending it into Node Red, and I'm actually specifying which sheet page I want to update one, two, or three. That all works in turn with this little switch command here. So this this uh, the TriCaster sends into this node. I get a one, two, or three. I then use this switch command. If I open this up, you can kind of see I look for one, two, or three, and each one of these gets sent to a different output, and uh, that connects up to the different pages right these little green nodes this is each one of these is connected to a different sheet of google sheets here so i'm pulling from sheet one or sheet two or sheet three and then again uh all that data uh gets flowed back into the tricaster so just to see if that new thing uh showed up here i should be able to go in and let's say up here i'm going to put my uh, my start date uh there it is start date and hit close and you can see it says January 2012 in there. So let's take a look at just a few of these other workflows because this first one, as you can see, just allows me to create uh, two columns of information. One becomes the data link key, the other one becomes the value. But let's, um, let's go into my next one here. And so this is a case where I have a workflow, right now it says Kane on the screen, but let's say I had different lists of information I wanted to update. Uh, this is on sheet two. I can go in here and just put an X 
next to the uh, line of information I want. So let's just say I want to I want to display the Cindy. And of course, if I had more fields in here, I could build a workflow to pull all those fields in. This is just very simple right now to show the concept that I could select a line just by putting an X on it. And now to get that to update in here, I can go in and say run my Google Sheet 2 update. I'll select that. You can see it reached out to the page, got the information, just updated to Cindy. And just to do one other one here, we'll delete, let's say we're gonna display uh, Don in here now. And go in here and put an X on this one. And I can update again. And you can see now it will say, uh, sometimes it does take a moment for both sides to, to get the update. There's uh, now it's on Don. So there is uh, that workflow. And then for the last one I wanna show, um, this one, this one kind of shows a little more powerful aspect. So since it's a spreadsheet, I can put formulas in it. So here's one that will allow me to total up numbers. So if we look at sheet three, you can see that um, right now it says zero, right? I'm reading this cell, but this cell is calculated by just adding all the numbers I put in this uh, column together. So let's, I'm just going to throw some numbers in here, right? And you can see that as I type them in, right? This totals up uh, all of these things added together. We can come back into my workflow, say let's update from sheet three now. And it goes and grabs that value that just got calculated here. And if I put in, uh, you know, another number in there and update it again, you can see it will go and update to the new number. And of course I could, I could have these uh, set to run off of a refresh versus just being triggered from the TriCaster, or I can have both so they can refresh periodically, but I can also force them on demand. So this is really just kind of showing you the kind of things that can be done here uh, where I can just take different workflow options. You can see there's tons of different things that I can pull in from. Since it's not running on a Raspberry Pi, I can even use the Raspberry Pi uh, header and you know create um, you know circuits physically off of the header if I wanted to. Uh, and there's all sorts of uh, add-ons you can get for it. I, for example, besides adding the Google Sheets, I had added OSC communication in here. So I, I was actually playing with that last night as well, where I was sending OSC messages back and forth between things. I've even, you can see I've got another workflow down here that I've just started with, but uh, just to kind of show you what it uh, does in here is that it is uh, pulling information from the TriCaster. You, so you can see these DDR time codes appearing. That's because the uh, DDR is currently in playback. If I was to stop that right now and do things on the interface, you can see that all sorts of information will start popping up uh, on the interface here uh, because, gotta scroll down to where all that information is, um, you can see it's getting tally switcher. It's seeing the uh, the updates I'm sending in. So I'm actually monitoring all the TriCaster communication, and this is currently reporting back the different activities going on. And then I could, from those activities coming in, fire off different kinds of automations uh, based upon what those activities are. And of course, you know, get information from the TriCaster and then figure out what I want to do with it. So I could do some really powerful stuff with this. And uh, I just wanted to show what's possible with it because I think it's pretty cool. And this really also goes to show what new tech professional services can do uh, to help with the kind of workflow stuff that, that you might be looking to do with your system. We could help you implement this kind of workflow with your uh, workflows in it, right? With the kind of things you need it to do and help you understand how to update it and, uh, you know, set it up and modify the things that you need so that you can, uh, you can automate the different aspects of what you need to do. So anyways, just want to show this to you. I thought it was really cool. And uh, thank you for watching.